a very good morning to my dear students today we are going to begin with chapter number 8 our skeletal system and the skin it's a very interesting topic so let's begin with the topic before that everybody will take your science textbook and open page number 57 and you can refer your textbook whenever i am teaching the lesson students we all know that there are various important organs present inside our body a group of organs that together carry out some functions of the body is called an organ system respiratory system digestive system muscular system are some of the organ systems which are present inside our body like this organ system framework of our bone also forms a organ system all this organ system continuously carry out various body functions so now let us learn about the framework of our bone as a organ system in this lesson but before studying about it let us recall what we have studied in the previous classes we have learned about some organ system isn't it their functions and their locations in our body so with with the help of that we are going to complete the table which is given in your textbook so now let's complete the table so now let us recall functions of the important organs of various organ systems and also their locations in our body so the first important organ that is heart it is an important body organ which supplies adequate amount of blood to different parts of the body it is situated in the thoracic cavity the next that is lungs supplies inhaled air through nose to the entire body it's it is located in thoracic cavity next intestine its functions are to digest the food what we eat it is located or situated in the abdominal cavity next brain it is one of the important body organ which helps or its function is to maintain coordination between all the different body functions and it is situated inside the cranial cavity so children from the above table we have understood that all these body organs are situated inside different body cavities do you know the reason behind this the body cavities protect the different body organs which are situated inside them the framework of our bones acts as a protective shell which provides protection to all the internal organs even though this framework acts as a protective shell there can be possibility of it getting injured sometimes when we fall while playing or have an accident a bone in our arm or leg may get broken this is called a fracture of the bone a person having fracture in a bone causes severe and unbearable pain and the part with the broken bone swells immediately so children can you tell if your friend meets with an accident and a bone in his leg is fractured how will you help him yes firstly you should make your friend sit or lie 
down in a correct position prevent any movement of the fractured part immobilize it means try to keep the injured leg stable and if needed give support to the leg with the help of the wooden scale also if it is needed you should get immediate medical help after going to the hospital an x-ray image is taken of the part which is swollen do you know who has discovered x-rays scientist wilhelm conrad ronchent has discovered x-rays an x-ray image shows whether a bone is broken and also the exact spot where it is broken this helps in providing the proper treatment there are different types of bones in our body do you know about these bones so now let us learn about the different types of bones through an activity now let us begin with one of the activity so what you have to do here is that you have to run down your hand at the center of your friend's back what do you feel yes you can feel the hard part is felt in the back is it now what you have to do place your hand at the center of your chest what do you feel even here you can feel the hard part at the center of your chest but there is some difference between the hard part which is at the center of your heart and at the back of your friend that are the different types of bones a chain of bone is present at the center of our back the hard bumps that you feel while running down the hand at the center of the back are the vertebrae vertebrae are small in size the hard part that we feel when we place our hand on the chest is called the rib cage the hard bumps that we feel are called the ribs ribs are long and flat in size like our back and chest differences are also observed in shape and size of different bones that are present in our body so now let us learn about it the first what we are going to study that is types of bones depending upon different size and shape of bones found in human body there are four major types of bones flat bones small bones long bones and irregular bones in humans different types of bones together form one organ system so now let us study about this organ system so now let us learn in detail about the human skeletal system we have already learned that the shape and sizes of all the bones present in the human body are not the same every bone is different a framework of bone together forms skeleton which gives a definite shape to the human body all the bones of the body along with the cartilage together form the skeletal system the structure of bone is complex bones are hard they are not flexible bones are composed of two main constituents bone cells are biotic 
वाइल कैल्शियम कार्बोनेट कैल्शियम फॉस्फेट मिनरल्स एंड सॉल्ट आर अबायोटिक कंस्टिट्यूएंट्स ऑफ बोन्स कैल्शियम इम्पार्ट स्ट्रेंथ टू द बोन्स अ सिस्टम विच गिव्स अ डेफिनेट शेप टू द बॉडी प्रोवाइड सपोर्ट एंड प्रोटेक्ट्स द डेलीकेट ऑर्गन्स इन साइड द बॉडी इज द स्केलेटल सिस्टम सो चिल्ड्रेन डू यू नो लाइक ह्यूमन्स डिफरेंसेस इन द शेप एंड साइज ऑफ बोन्स इज ऑल्सो ऑब्जर्व इन डिफरेंट एनिमल्स इन एनिमल्स शेप एंड साइज ऑफ बोन्स वेरी बाय जस्ट ऑब्जर्विंग स्केलेटन ऑफ एनिमल्स वन कैन आइडेंटिफाई देम सो कैन यू आइडेंटिफाई द एनिमल्स फ्रॉम द पिक्चर्स ऑफ देर स्केलेटन्स सो सेम पिक्चर्स वॉट एवर यू आर एबल टू सी ऑन द स्क्रीन आर देर इन योर टेक्स्ट बुक सो आर यू एबल टू आइडेंटिफाई विच आर दोज एनिमल्स येस करेक्ट नाउ यू विल राइट द आंसर्स विथ पेन्सिल इन योर टेक्स्ट बुक लेट्स डिस्कस द आंसर करेक्ट द फर्स्ट वन इज हॉर्स नेक्स्ट डायनासोर नेक्स्ट फिश एंड द लास्ट वन स्नेक this animals can be identified based on their skeleton the structure and arrangement of bones in each of this animal is different every bone has specific structure based on type of movement they perform